All right, everyone. So here's what we have. I took a piece of old, basically standard metal uh, ventilator uh, housing or whatever you want to call it. And I took some of this paint here. This is made, made uh, I'm not exactly sure where I bought it. I forget where I got it. I heard a review about it through um, Graffiti Writers as it being a really nice, really well-built paint. Really, you know, works great, covers really easily. Um, it's called Plutonium G. Um, and as you can see, these cans, um, I have a couple of them here. I have one in pink one in orange, one in yellow, and one in blue. As you can see, these cans have actually been outside. Uh, these cans actually were in about double, uh, I'd probably say the highest they've been temperature-wise was uh, probably about 10 to 12 degrees and below for the last two and a half weeks outside. Um, and as you can see, I picked them up, brought them right inside, and as you can see here, they paint just fine. Um, that's one of their big claims to fame is in cold climates. They will work no matter what. Another little tidbit that you'll need, you want to know about these paints is you can see here, I'm holding it right side up. How many cans can, do you know, can do this? That's another one of their little claim to fames, claims to fame. They, uh, they can be painted upside down. They also have a lemon scent. So they aren't as harmful to you. I mean, I've been painting with them with a vent on, but now what you can see here, the reason I did this was to see how well this paint actually works. Cause this is a pretty expensive paint. I think this was probably about six, seven, maybe $8 a can. Now what I did was I actually went out and bought two colors in plastic. I purchased the standard black. And then this can here is actually white plastic dip. And what I did was I actually laid down them as a base coat because I hear a lot of people saying that you can't do this, you can't paint with them as a base coat. Um, and some paints, I would agree with them. They, they are just too, um, too acidic. They want to eat right through the plastic dip. Now I did put down about five to t five coats of plastic dip in each color before I started painting. So what we're going to do is this upper one here is the white. And as you can see, the, the colors that I have here actually stand out pretty well to the white. The yellow here is actually four coats of white. This is two coats and I just went back and forth once, twice, three times, four times. That was a coat. This is pink, orange, and then you have your blue here. Now down here, I actually had to go with five coats of the orange, two coats of the pink, two coats of the orange, or yeah, I'm sorry, five coats of the yellow, two coats of the pink, two coats of the orange, and two coats of blue which I think it's just because of the fact that yellow is such a light color, it just takes a while to actually peel, like actually to stick through any color. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the white and see how she did. And the reason I taped them off here was just to basically give me a clean edge to grab a hold of, because I tried this before and it didn't seem to wanna give me a clean edge. And as you can see, it is peeling really, really easily. I mean, you can see there, Let's see if I can give you a better picture there. That's actually the pink and the yellow. And as you can see here, it peels just fine. I have no eaten. It had, did not seep through at all. And you can see it peels. I mean, it's tearing relatively normal, but as you can see, there you go, right through the blue. And there you have it. Now granted, if you wanted to do your interior in kind of odd colors, or you just had a really neat color idea you, you wanted to try, this paint is really nice. I will link um, in my thread post the, um, the website and all of their colors. They do come in a multitude, multitude of colors, which you can see, they, and the colors are very vibrant. I mean, they don't, they don't seem to have any, you know, I really like the colors and you can get multitudes of them. I think they have over a thousand colors, but as you can see, I mean, it comes off real easy. And this is no prep work was done to this surface to make sure the plastic dip stuck. All I did was I wiped off the dust and just dipped it. And as you can see there, it comes off fairly easy. And that was the white. Now I did like the way the white 
worked as a back color. It does seem to um, bring out the color a little bit better on these paints for some reason. Um, I don't know exactly why. Probably just because they're lighter tint paint. But there you can see, that's perfectly clear. Now, a lot of you will be saying about this. This right here is actually a piece of um, imperfection that was on the, the actual uh, ducking before I before I actually started. Now we're gonna go down to the black here, which when I actually pulled the tape off because I actually left the tape on while I plastered it and painted, that way I had a clear edge because I kind of wanted it to peel up. And as you can see here, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It peeled up right as I was pulling the tape off and this stuff comes off just as easily. I mean, I don't know if that means that you want to go out and do this or not. I mean, it's completely up to you. Um, but this to me is showing me that first of all, this paint is well worth the money you spend on it because how many paints can actually claim that they can do this. Um, now Plastidip was probably not inter you know, used for this exact purpose, but it's definitely interesting to see how easily it peels off. There is no residue left over on it. I mean, there's a few sticky pieces here, but I mean, for a first overall try, what I would do is when I would do this, I would severely recommend you use at least five coats of Plasti Dip before you do any kind of painting. Um, I do just like this paint just because it is very vibrant colors, comes in a ton of different colors. And as you can see, here's the actual, this is where the ducting was actually folded over. And you can see it kind of made its own crease there, but I can peel straight down through. Now at the top here, it does seem to be a little bit lighter. And here you can see the difference between light set of Plasti Dip. And then when you get down here to where it's a little bit heavier, it tends to roll up and peel a lot easier. But that's basically it. So I will post this thread to Focal Jet and see what you guys have to say. So let me know. Thanks.